expectations are the shot from the wing is going to come primarily from Rose. Got to come out and contest her. Don't let her get going. Her first of many threes this season. Coles, an open one and in. In Winston. Being able to drive the basketball if you've got driving lanes. And you've seen so many Wake Forest shots have been driving and going to the basket just like that. What an unselfish play by Elise Williams a minute. Nice drive inside, stop the ball, two defenders there, keep it up high. I'm very impressed with the post players tonight. Catching the sideline and you don't let them out. Nice job by the Deeks. Alea calls, nice move. Post move nicely, high low, bounce pass goes low. Watch it drop step. Boom. Then the up and under little McHale move. Coles drives, takes a little left when she has been good when she's gotten an opportunity. In a 10 point game though, Demon Deacon with a chance to cut it to single digits with a basket here. Coles just keeps that pivot foot alive and finds the basket. Oh, give and go. Coles down low, up and under for the two. That was a beautiful two-game play right there. Barker defending. Scruggs goes down low. Coles at good position. But as freshman, you got to play defense to stay on the floor. Coles on a triple. Banks it in. A lot of trees down low. Still <laughs> yeah. got it to go. Knocking it down right there for, with the three. Obviously, Williams has gotten a lot more involved with this offense. Feeding Coles here. Coles searches, cutting to the basket. Harrison lays it in. Wake Forest back in front. Sustain the whole quarter. Nice pass. Coles lays it in. Doesn't respect the shot at all. Katie Diebel airmails one. And that was foolish. And a missed layup from Coles on the first try, but the second chance yields a two-pointer and a big smile. Wheeler made one of two. Spartans back within three. Fortuitous ricochet finds Coles. And just how Megan Jebby drew it up and won. Look what I found. Pass there, deflection, good hands, catch and score. See how she mess around with it? As soon as she got the basketball, watch this. Turn and go right to the hole and get to them. Wake in the white. Marshall in the black. And Malaya Coles with her first touch. Looking back door. Alexandria Scruggs. Perhaps. But they, they will pressure you. They forced 112 turnovers, Evan, in their last four basketball games. So, yeah, they're coming at you. You've got to be strong with the ball. you got to know where you're going with it when you get it and make plays like that. Malaya Coles able to scoop it up oh, and in. The tuition for the Thundering Herd. Spacing. There's the rub. Pick and roll action. But you go to the second player. Nice job of getting the inside. And then Coles doing what she does. Coming off a one for 10 game on Sunday. Campbell turns it over. Harrison leads the break. Kaya Harrison puts it in. Again, great defensive effort here. Gets the ball. You've got the numbers. A moment ago, they had numbers. Didn't finish that way. A little fake right there. Gets a defender on their heels. And then she attacks and goes right to the glass. Nice little head and shoulder fake early to look away. And then keep able to ball. trigger the inbound. Williams up high. Coles down low. Pivoting through the traffic, count the bucket, and the foul. She's able to power this through. There's a drop. The defender's late was there, and she says, the heck with you. I'm going to the glass. Watch this. Double, maybe three people around, and some ways able to get it up. First possession of the afternoon. The shot clock already down to six. Open look, top of the key. That's a three, and it's buried for the Demon Deacons and an early advantage. Shot clock is off. Deeks with a chance to regain the lead. Here comes Coles, a little drop step, and the finish. We'd love to see them utilize some more of that, either high-low action or some ball screens. Try to get that ball inside. There it is, a little back to work. Great cut and read by Wake Forest. And when Wake slows down the offense, and the great way to break defensive pressure is to try to go back door. It's not often you're going to catch. See how Wake Forest continues to play that. But Kyles has got to play smart defensive-wise, and Scruggs has got to play wise. Elite Great. Williams has yeah. the game's last eight points. Conley with a triple try. Good.
like moving into January. Conference I... game, and the Deeks have their first lead as Malaya Coles. Demon Deacons looking for their first ACC road win under second-year head coach Megan Jebbia. Louisville doesn't often lose against an unranked ACC opponent, as you saw there, but that will help again. Utah last year has had a really nice sophomore season. Great block shot on the interior by Elise Williams. Sidbury going back at Williams. The double team came. She threw it away. Alea Coles takes it back. Wake Forest, two on two, a three for the lead. Conley. That's why I've enjoyed watching her all season long. You know, she said, "How about this? How about this? All that point one, nice basket inside there. Got to get Cowles involved also if you're Wake Forest." Coles got her first basket a few moments ago. Inside, Scruggs lays it in. <laughs> Come on, Debbie, I can box out. <laughs> Look at him collapse on Inyang. I know Inyang had a good game. Maddie Ott, Ruby Whitehorn now with the basketball. Valentine, Inyang, and Robinson. Whitehorn drives and blocks. In a productive 12 minutes for Kyla. Coles, not interested in shooting the three. She's made a couple of them. Riley Turkoff has now made 15 of them. And you see Georgia Tech is kind of taking advantage of that. They're doing the same thing. Every, most of their offense, that's a good steal. Coles gets it to Harrison. Numbers for the Deeks. Just look at this denial defense, and that's a good option. Try to take the bigger right Kennedy Brown off the dribble. Another turnover for Duke. Three-pointer wide open and nothing but the bottom of the net for Harrison. Evil operates this offense with 10 points. Contested by and one. Coles to the line. Takes it down. There's a two-man game. Nice bounce pass. Couldn't have been any place there. On the outside hip. Talking about defender. a rebound and great hands. An excellent defender. Erases a lot of mistakes. Coles inside, and the Deeks within two. Nice job that time by Coles. Got great inside positioning as Coles continued to move, trying to be active, which made the defense after the job. Diebel, corner three, short, rebounded by Coles. Back up and in. Deeks on top for the first time That's tonight. Great catch and finish. Three. Someone else Wade could really use to get going, give him more of a perimeter presence. Well, I heard something. I thought it was a slap on the wrist. Let's give the benefit of the doubt to the officials and say it was a slap on the ball. Williams banked one in. This time it's Cole. That's a good look. And that was just tremendous ball movement by the Demon Deacons. Another turnover here from Pitt Wake with numbers in transition. Harrison trying to get it to go off the glass, and she does. I don't know if I love the call, but great stance by Coles to get there and beat Leah Two King to the spot. Conley three, that one drops in Wake Forest. Now up to a seven point lead. On the dive cut, Conley wheeling and scoring. Dunn posted at the elbow. Got stopped on the step back. That was a race by Coles. It's a nearly triple team. She lost the handle and stolen away by Cole. Skip pass around by Whitehorn. Robinson thought she had position. Stolen by Cole. State's best defender. Williams on the mismatch. Missed the jumper. Cole's the board. Wake for the lead. Has it. Four. Scruggs fights so hard there in the paint. Scruggs has the most tournament experience of any player for Wake Forest, and I expect her. Clark gets an open laner, look that way. Cole's there to block the shot. Nearly doubling her scoring output. Turnage has been in the starting lineup now. Last 15 games or so, Scruggs gets down on the floor to take it away. And there's Scruggs. Let's see what the Demon Deacons have in store in this second half. Both teams well aware of what happened last year in Greensboro. Williams, that's a good start for the Demon Deacons. 